Well guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're at a beautiful townhouse in the country of Luxembourg, which yeah. is going to be pretty awesome. Uh, looking forward to going around. Had a look down on the ground and first floor. Got some interesting rooms, so any history? We will try and do it, she will. I will try and do it if I can. If not, I do apologise. Um, I don't want to lie and just make something up like, you know, someone died in this house because what's the point? You know, um, I like doing the history. I like finding out the history. Not, you know, not just for you guys. I love doing it because I love knowing what actually happened. So I will try my hardest though. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, hit that like, drop us a comment. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. We've got plenty of big hits coming like this. So, please enjoy. All right guys, I guess we'll start at the main entrance. And look at this door. This hasn't been opened in years. Look at the door, look at the cobwebs. Wow, I know, that's what I'm saying. Like, They're like little hammocks. They are. It's absolutely nuts. Like you've got 1A, 2B. <laughs> and as we swing around, you see the main corridor. It's quite cool in this house, but it's quite warm outside, so. Yes, so this is what the design. As we look down here first, that lone chair in the background there, but we'll take a ride first, I think. We'll delve into the kitchen. It's quite modern, to be fair. More modern than I was expecting when we first had a look. Do you not agree? It is, yeah. Like, like the rest of the house has got like really like oldy. Yeah, it's got an old feel to it, but this place, just a built-in fridge. It's got some honey or something up there. It doesn't stink for once. <laughs> There's not a lot left in it, to be fair. Not in the cupboards anyway. A few glasses and cups. Looks like some empty beer bottles down there. All crated up. Like that coffee maker. These cast iron pots. That cost about 70 to 80 quid back in the UK just for one pot, they're well expensive. Yeah. Live in that little tile pattern there. What is this for? Pulling big teeth. <laughs> I have no idea. That's what happens when you um Partner, don't listen to your misses. Ah, chop it off. Wow. Got a soap dish in that, yeah? Hmm, why is there a soap dish? Soap There's no sink. Yeah, look. Yeah, maybe there was a sink. Hmm, maybe. Got a washing machine down there on the old table. What? I just looked at it and I'm thinking, how, that's washing up well. Yeah, no, I don't know. How the soap would go and the water would go through. There's some old pictures along here there, aren't they? Wow. Go and have a look in this front room. We call it a front room, but <clears throat> yeah, sitting room. Oh, I love that fire. This, we've seen this in so many houses abroad now. They have these standout fires that come out of the fireplace. This cabinet alone, would that have been where the fireplace should have gone? This bit's held up by some string. I can't tell if I'm making this better or worse. Let's take that bit off. Oh well. 
Put some light bulbs, mushed up paper and that. And if there's anything else. Oh, there's some matches in there. Nothing in these top ones by the looks of things. Very cool though. I guess the main thing in here is you see all the decay and that coming through on the walls. Yeah, you can tell by the sort of ceiling, it's all blackened in there. Some nice pictures, it's really oldie worldy. You don't get this in the UK, so that's very nice. What is that? No idea what that is for. I think someone's done some weird stuff. Look, candles and that laid out. And look, there's all drips in the middle there. People try, don't they? Yeah. This door leads back out into that main hallway where the front door is blocked off by the sofa. We've got a few bits hanging on the wall here. And even up there. The light fitting's quite of a strange one, isn't it? Mm. Do you think the ceiling is meant to be that colour? No, I reckon it's... You reckon? Oh. It looks like it is, to be fair. No. I don't know. Either. It looks varnished. I like the little coat hanger there with the key. Yeah, they do, don't they? Wow. Have you seen a rug here? Yeah. I don't know if it would be real or not. It looks like sheep's wool, though, doesn't it? To be fair. Right. If we dip down into this corridor, you'll see all of the paint flaking off. Beautiful. We've got four rooms down there in total. Looks like what would have been possibly a little makeshift pantry area. I say that simply because we've got the freezer down in here in the corner which is empty what a waste look at these cabinets huge there'll be some antique dealers here like, like looking at this stuff going bloody hell what a waste it does feel like a waste and down there you've got the beer cooking pot, I'd assume. Mallets to smash the meat up. Corks for wine bottles. Quite interesting. Open this. It's like wallpaper the inside as well. Different wallpaper to the wallpaper that is above. So come into a sort of dining area. Look at the chairs and that as you come in. It's so bright this room. It's lovely. And to take a quick seat in this chair. It sort of gives you an overview of this room. I can imagine it being a family room where they would have eaten all their dinners that the mum probably would have prepared in the kitchen. A calendar here from 1970. I don't know if this opens or not. It does, it needs a lock, a key though, it's locked. Wow, you got the steins. Sorry. Not the steins. <laughs> you got glasses. You got the uh, kettle. Well, 
Looks like a teapot jug. Dump some sort of jug. Again, look at that. Wildman's Zile. I don't know. I don't speak German. You got that old chase lounge there. In the corner. You can see by the morning sun. It catches it very well. So you've got a fishing reel here. It's randomly placed on the top there. And you've got some cards and that along here. But yeah. And the wallpaper. Quite unique in it, I guess. I guess you get that in these houses abroad. Look at the light fitting on here. And just the, the, the detail that goes into these units. It's amazing, isn't it? And they're all like, you know, it's all sliding out perfectly. It's not, they don't get stuck, they don't get jammed. I can't imagine how long they've been here for. This door on the right leads back into a dining room. We've got another seating area, which is absolutely crazy. Because again, more sofas, more tables. And they look in really good nick. As if the person was gonna come back. You got a painting up here on the wall. Shame it's got a hole through it, but pink curtains, everything just sort of really puts it into perspective. I just love this whole place. It's all set out really nicely. Shit, that light fit at the top there. Made to look like little candles burning. As you'll see, there's light bulbs at the top there. You've got a little corner. Got a little corner sofa. Hmm, I've not seen one of them. Well, it looks like it should. It's part of a sofa, it should be attached to something else. And just some little bits there in the shelving area. Oh, let's head upstairs before we get moaded. Yes, these stairs are a bit rickety, but Get up here, whoa, onto the first floor. The layout is pretty much the same as up, as downstairs. You've got that long corridor, but look at this bedroom. It's amazing. You've got all the flakes of the roof here falling down onto these pictures in this desk, or drawers, sorry. You see the mould and woodworm start again. So I'll show you the ceiling, look. All flaking through, hole in the roof there. Oh, crazy. Lovely, will it just photo? picture. This looks like it was a actual paint, an actual sketch. I love all the wardrobes. Like they're so detailed and in design. Like you know these aren't your IKEA wardrobes put it that way. Right. 
bed. Again, you don't see these not very often. Got paper down there from 1975. Looks like one piece of clothing made it. It's still hanging there. Looks like there's possibly a little storage area. Looks like a meat grinder there, which I think is quite weird to have up on where the bedrooms are. But it looks like it could have been a storage area. With these shelves stacked up here. Again, it's one of the religious of three wise men, baby Jesus there. More paperwork. And more papers. Beautiful. Show you the staircase, look at that. Love it. What we got in this room? Wow, this is a bathroom. I did not expect it to be the bathroom. With a big giant tin foil shark. <laughs> Crazy. And then it's just like, look at it, it's all like sectioned off. It's like tiny, it's quite a big bathroom, but all the stuff's in that little corner. Got some old scales down here. Looks like it's still got a razor and everything there. And you've got another one of these huge wardrobes in here. Mm, just doesn't look like this is filled with much. Come back down these daunting corridor where all the paint is peeling off the walls. And another chair sat at the end of the corridor. <clears throat> wow. Everything in here is so it's not filled or chock a block with stuff. It's basics, but it works. It makes this place look absolutely fascinating. Like just this corner here, just looks absolutely incredible. And then you come over to the door and then you see just a white shirt. Is that a mirror? Yeah, mirror there. Look at this picture that's hanging on the wall. Empty photo frame with a clock. And you got that chair in the corner. Perched on its own, simple, but it works. And I guess a finishing touch would be Jesus and the cross. And to this next room. Wow. Again, simple but effective, I guess. Look at this. Two single beds, end by end. And I think Megan called these sled beds in a previous video. But yeah, it's quite sweet and quite elegant. I love the wallpaper. One thing I've noticed is um, there's a lot of religious artifacts especially around European countries. Got some clothes down here. What looks to be clothes. That's that chair is just sitting there in the middle. We'll come in here. 
Wow. So this looks to be what would have been a linen room where all the bedding and everything was kept. And as you can see it all in that unit over there. Again, like I was saying about the religious stuff, it's all here. I'm gonna have to have a quick look at this quickly though. Oh, it's just the lid. I thought it might have been a singer. Or well, at least a sewing machine underneath. I wasn't expecting it to just be the lid. What a shame. See here, it looks like possibly a sofa bed in the corner there. The linen draped. And you'll see it, like, the wallpaper's all peeling off from the top. Looks like all in one piece, to be honest. I love these big wooden doors and the frames, don't you? Yeah. They're nice. Again, looks like more linen in this wardrobe. Again, huge wardrobes, love them. Absolutely love them. Looks like doors to something there. To another wardrobe somewhere, possibly. Beautiful room though. The decor on it looks really nice. Right well, guys, at this uh, second set of spiral stairs. Oh, into the attic. I think it's nice, you could have easily kitted this room out. Wow. Careful over there, because that's where the hole is in the uh, other room. Wow, look at these. Over there. Whoa. Look at these old pictures. You know what, I have to say that. What? These places over abroad, their pictures have got a lot more. Are these old pictures? I know it's like they have pictures of the family, but obviously these are from ages, ages ago. I know. But when I've done my family tree, I've seen like pictures, like how they're dressed like this, and it's like going back to 1800s, 1700s. It is, it's nuts. It's like a painting or a picture of your ancestry from them. That's something that's crazy, but these guys, they have it. I'm glad, because then we get to see it. <laughs> no, not well, when they abandon it. You don't want them to ever abandon places like this, do you? But if we didn't, if they didn't, we wouldn't have a hobby. Well, we would, it'd be something different though, wouldn't it? Look at this. We wouldn't get to show you guys all this. Beautiful stuff. Reminds me like I'm in a big barn or something. Looks like a coffee bean bag. Horse saddles, possibly. Quite a few old chairs and furniture pieces. Over in the corner. Random door and then in that bedroom where the hole is in the roof there is. For a chair. Dotted over it. And as you'll see, if you look into the outside, what once was the barn? Crazy. Well guys, uh, that is the end of this explore. Finished, done. <laughs> really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, Excuse me, I'm yawning. we finish up in the attic, so why not? We finished here, so we'll get out of here. On to the next one. But if you liked it, thumbs Good up. Luck. 
drop a comment, subscribe, hit that little bell, diddle diddle ling. Future explores. <laughs> yeah, so exactly. Pop up when we've uploaded, and you can be like, ooh, ooh it's our favourite people. But anyway, you I'm happy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy. I hope you guys are happy. We are happy too. too. See you later. Bye. Bye.